In the last lecture, we saw about recurrence relations or they are also called uh, difference equations. We saw what is a recurrence relation and we were also seeing about the solution of a recurrence relation. Actually, the so solution of a linear difference equation or a recurrence relation with constant coefficients, it is a sum of two parts. One is called the homogeneous part and the other is called the particular solution one part is called the homogeneous solution and the other part is called the particular solution. So, the homogeneous solution if it is given by this and the particular solution is given by this, then the total solution is the sum of these two and the homogeneous solution satisfies this equation that linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients with the right hand side equal to 0. A solution for this is called the homogeneous solution. A solution for this with the right hand side given as f r is called a particular solution. Now, adding these two up you get c naught a r h plus a r p etcetera is f r. This is called the total solution. Why not we be satisfied with the particular solution alone? Because sometimes the boundary conditions have to be satisfied in a proper manner and it is always advisable to have the total solution. The total solution is given by A is equal to A h plus A p, it satisfies the difference equation. Now, we were considering the homogeneous equation. If this is the linear recurrence relation, then we get an equation like this, removing a it is simplified this simplified like this. This is called the characteristic equation and if alpha 1 is a root of the equation, alpha 1 is one of the roots of the characteristic, characteristic equation, then a alpha 1 power r is a homogeneous solution to the difference equation. This also we have seen in the last class. So, a characteristic equation of the kth degree, it has got k characteristic roots. Any equation of kth degree will have k roots. If they are all distinct and they are alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha k say, then the homogeneous solution will be of the form a 1 alpha 1 power r, a 2 alpha 2 power r and so on. Suppose, the roots of the characteristic equations are all different distinct. In this case, we can very easily verify that the homogeneous solution will be of this form. It is also a homogeneous solution to the difference equation. Alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha k here are the distinct characteristic roots and a 1, a 2, a k are constants which have to be determined by the boundary conditions. And we consider this uh, example of the Fibonacci sequence. This was the characteristic equation and the two roots were this and so the homogeneous solution will be this and then a 1 a 2 have to be determined by the boundary conditions. This we have seen. So, now, next we have to consider the case where a characteristic root is repeated or a characteristic root has multiplicity. So, what happens in that case? Suppose that some of the roots of the characteristic equation are multiple roots, they are not 
distinct, but some are multiple roots. See. Let alpha 1 be a root of multiplicity m. Then the corresponding homogeneous solution is a 1 r power m minus 1 plus a 2 r power m minus 2 plus etcetera a m minus 2 r square plus a m minus 1 r plus a m into alpha 1 power r, where alpha 1 is a multiple root with multiplicity m. Here the a i's are constants to be determined by the boundary conditions. Now, you can very easily see that if you take this portion a m alpha 1 power r that will satisfy the recurrence relation and so is a homogeneous solution of the difference equation. How do you show that a m minus 1 r plus alpha 1 r is also a homogeneous solution? Similarly, you have to show a m minus 2 r squared alpha 1 r that is also a homogeneous solution and so on. Now, let us consider the case a m minus 1 r into alpha 1 r. To show that a m minus 1 r alpha 1 to the power of r, there is a slight uh, uh, deviation, this is uh, this gone just slightly above. A, we have to show that a m minus 1 r alpha 1 power r minus alpha 1 power r r. This is also a homogeneous solution. How do you get this? We recall that alpha 1 is see it is a multiple root alpha 1 is a multiple root. So, it does not satisfy the characteristic equation, but it also satisfies the derivative of that. So, this is not only a root of the characteristic equation which is this, but the derivative of that also. So, the derivative of the equation is C naught r alpha power r minus 1 plus C 1 r minus 1 alpha power r minus 2 plus C 2 r minus 2 alpha power r minus 3 and so on. So, being a multiple root it has to satisfy this equation also. So, multiplying the above equation by a m a m minus 1 alpha multiply this and then replace alpha by alpha 1 you will get this equation c naught a minus 1 r alpha 1 r etcetera. That is you are taking the derivative of the characteristic equation and multiplying it by a m minus 1 alpha and replacing alpha by alpha 1. Now, this shows that a m minus 1 r alpha 1 r is also a solution a homogeneous solution. So, this shows that a m minus 1 r alpha 1 r is indeed a homogeneous solution. If alpha 1 is a double root you can use this, if it is a triple root then it has to satisfy the second derivative also. So, taking this and taking derivative once more and so on you will show that the previous term m minus 2 r squared alpha 1 r will also be a homogeneous solution. If alpha 1 is a root of multiplicity m, you can take the derivative m times m minus 1 times rather and prove that each one of them is a homogeneous solution. So, like that we can uh, prove and hence if and hence we have this result which we have already seen. If the multiple root alpha 1 is a root of multiplicity m, then the homogeneous solution will be of this form a 1 r power m minus 1 a polynomial in of order m minus 1 a 2 r m minus 2 and so on multiplied by alpha 1 power r. Consider this example, consider the difference equation a r plus 6 a r minus 1 plus 12 a r minus 2 plus 8 a r minus 3 equal to 0. Then the characteristic equation will be alpha cubed plus 6 alpha squared plus 12 alpha plus 8 is equal to 0. That is this 
expression is alpha plus 2 the whole cube it is a cube alpha plus 2 the whole cube. So, alpha is equal to minus 2 is a triple root it is a root of multiplicity, multiplicity 3. So, the homogeneous solution you will have minus 2 to the power of r will be there, but it will be preceded by a polynomial of degree 2 because multiplicity is 3. So, this polynomial you have taken as a 1 r squared plus a 2 r plus a 3 and the value a 1 a 2 a 3 they are all constants and they have to be determined by using the boundary condition. So, when minus 2 is a triple root the homogeneous solution will be of this form. Now, let us take one more example one or two more examples. Let us consider these two examples one is 4 a r minus 20 a r minus 1 plus 17 a r minus 2 minus 4 a r minus 3 is equal to 0. The characteristic equation will be of the form 4 alpha cubed minus 20 alpha squared plus 17 alpha minus 4 is equal to 0. You can solve this equation and then the roots you will find as half half and 4. There are 3 roots and they are half half and 4. 4 is of multiplicity 1, half is of multiplicity 2. So, the homogeneous equation will be of the form A r h will be of the form A 1 4 power r plus this is multiplicity 2. So, that will be A 2 r plus A 3 half power r. Now, here a 1, a 2, a 3 are constants and they have to be determined from the boundary conditions. Here all roots are real. Now, let us take this example. Here you can very easily see that the characteristic equation will be alpha cubed minus 2 alpha squared plus 2 alpha minus 1 is equal to 0. So, 1 is a root. alpha is equal to 1 is a root. After dividing by alpha minus 1 you will get alpha squared minus alpha plus 1 is equal to 0. And if you solve this the roots will be 1 plus r minus square root of 1 minus 4 by 2 that is the roots will be 1 plus root 3 i by 2 and 1 minus root 3 i by 2 here you have complex roots. Of course, the homogeneous solution corresponding to this will be something of the form a 1, 1 power r this is just a 1 you can take it as a constant a 1. Now, what happens when you take for these two you can take it as a 1 this power r and r a 1 you have already used a 2 this power r a 3 this power r, but instead of that because they are complex numbers you generally use the results and take it as b 1 rho cos n theta plus b 2 rho sin n theta, where what is rho and theta? The complex roots occur as pairs, they will occur as w plus i delta w minus i delta. In that case rho is taken to be square root of w square plus delta square and theta is taken to be tan inverse delta by w the usual way we take. So, the homogeneous solution in this case will be a r h should be taken in the form a 1 1 power r you can take or leave it out 1 power r is just like that plus b 1. What will be rho in this example? You have rho is equal to square root of half squared plus root 3 by 2 the whole squared which will be 1 and theta is 
tan inverse root 3 by 2 by half which will be tan inverse root 3 which is pi by 3. So, this will be taken as b 1 rho is 1. So, you need not write that cos n pi by 3 plus b 2 rho is again 1. So, you need not worry about that sin n pi by 3 and a 1 b 1 b 2 are constants which have to be determined by the boundary conditions. So, this is how we go about writing the homogeneous solution. Now, as we saw earlier the total solution consists of two parts the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. Now, what will be the particular solution in this in general? In general there is no way to find there is no sort of a strict ways of finding the particular solution, but because uh, some examples we will see how we have to consider the particular solution and solve the equation for particular solution. So, let us take different cases of f r. We know that the particular solution has to satisfy this equation c naught a r p plus c 1 a r p minus 1 and on the right hand side you have the f r. So, depending on the form of f r you take the particular solution and find it out. So, consider the difference equation a r plus 5 a r minus 1 plus 6 a r minus 2 equal to 3 r square. <coughs> so, on the right hand side you have f r which is 3 r squared. In general you could have a polynomial of degree k. So, here it is 3 r squared polynomial of degree 2. In that case you take the particular solution to be p 1 r squared plus p 2 r p 3 a polynomial of degree 3. Here the values of p 1, p 2, p 3 have to be determined by substituting in this expression. So, the general form of the particular solution is this use this in this equation. So, let us see what happens you will get this. Here p 1, p 2, p 3 are constant to be determined. Substituting the expression we get p 1 r squared for a r for a r you substitute this whole thing p 1 r squared plus p 2 r plus p 3. Then you have 5 a r minus 1 for that you substitute 5 into p 1 r minus 1 the whole squared. 5 p 2 r minus 1 plus p 3. So, for a r minus 1 you substitute p 1 r minus 1 the whole square p 2 r minus 1 plus p 3. Then you have 6 a r minus 2. So, you substitute for a r minus 2 p 1 r minus 2 the whole square plus p 2 r minus 2 plus p 3. So, you get this. this simplifies to this expression. Equating the coefficients on the right hand side what do you have? You have 3 r square. So, equating the coefficients you have 12 p 1 is equal to 3 which will give you the value of p 1 as 1 by 4. Equating the coefficients of r you will get 34 p 1 minus 12 p 2 is 0. Then using the value of p 1 as 1 by 4 here you will get p 2 is equal to 17 by 24. Then equating the constants you will get this is equal to 0 using the value of p 2 as 17 by 24 and p 1 as 1 by 4 
you will get P 3 as 115 by 288. Like that we can determine the value of P 1, P 2 and P 3 and the particular solution is given by a r p is equal to 1 by 4 r square plus 17 by 24 r plus 115 by 288. In general, whenever the right hand side f r is a polynomial, it is of the form of a polynomial of degree t in r, it is of the form f 1 r t plus f 2 r t minus 1 plus etcetera, f t r plus f t 1. That is right hand side is a polynomial of degree t then the corresponding particular solution will be of the form P 1 R T plus P 2 R T minus 1 plus P T R plus P T plus 1 and substituting in the equation you have to determine the value of P 1, P 2, P 3 etcetera. Look at this example, consider the difference equation this right hand side is a polynomial of degree 2 3 r square minus 2 r plus 1. In this case again you have to take the particular solution as p 1 r square plus p 2 r plus p 3 and use this in the equation and find out the value of p 1, p 2, p 3. You will get p 1 as 1 fourth, p 2 as this, p 3 as this and so the particular solution will be a r p plus is equal to 1 4 r square plus 13 by 24 r plus 71 by 288. Next let us consider some more forms of the right hand side f r. Consider the equation a r is equal to 5 a r minus 1 plus 6 a r minus 2 is equal to 1. The right hand side is a constant. So, you take the particular solution as just p and a constant and then making use of that you will get p minus 5 p plus 6 p equal to 1. That is 2 p is equal to 1 r p is equal to half. So, in this case the particular solution is a constant half and that is what you get if the right hand side is a constant like this the particular solution is a r p is half. Now, let us consider the difference equation a r plus 5 a r minus 1 plus 6 a r minus 2 is equal to 42 into 4 power r. So, the right hand side is of the form some say k into beta power r. Now, here you have to consider two cases where beta is a characteristic root and where beta is not a characteristic root. Look at this equation, here the characteristic equation will be alpha square plus 5 alpha plus 6 is equal to 0 and the roots will be minus 3 and minus 2. The roots are minus 3 and minus 2 and on the right hand side you are having 42 into 4 power r, 4 is not a characteristic root. When this is the case, that on the right hand side you have some say k into beta power r, where beta is not a characteristic root, you take the particular solution to be p beta power r, or in this case it is p is a constant 4 power and you have to determine the value of p. Substitute in the equation, the equation is a r, a r plus 5 a r minus 1 plus 6 a r minus 2 is equal to 42 times 4 power r, is not it? Use this substitute here. So, it is p 4 power r plus 5 p 4 power r minus 1 plus 6 p 4 power r minus 2 is equal to 42 into 4 power r divide by 
4 power r minus 2. So, you will get 16 p plus 20 p on 4 r minus 2 is deleted 4 into 5 is 20 plus 6 p is equal to 42 into 16. So, this is 36 plus 6 42, 42 p is equal to 42 into 16. So, p is 16. So, the particular solution a r p is 16 4 power r, 16 into 4 power r and that is what you get. The particular solution in this case is given by a r p is 16 into 4 power r. In general, when f r is of the form beta power r, the corresponding particular solution is of the form p beta power r, if beta is not a characteristic root of the equation. Furthermore, if f r is of the form a polynomial multiplied by beta power r, this is a polynomial in r, f 1 r power t of plus f 2 r power t minus 1 etcetera, a polynomial of degree t followed by or multiplied by beta power r. Then you have to take the particular solution in the form p 1 r power t plus p 2 r power t minus 1 etcetera beta power r. Then substitute this in the equation and determine the value of p 1 p 2 p t plus 1. If this happens when beta is not a characteristic root of the difference equation. We will consider the case when beta is a characteristic root in a moment. Look at this equation, consider the difference equation a r plus a r minus 1 is equal to 3 r 2 power r. The equation is a r plus a r minus 1 is 3 r 2 r. Here the root is minus 1, this is different. So, this is a polynomial followed by 2 power r and polynomial of degree 1. So, you have to take the particular solution as p 1 r plus p 2 into 2 power r. This is the way you have to take the particular solution. Substitute and find the value of p 1 and p 2. So, you get p 1 r plus p 2 into 2 power r plus a r minus 1 will be p 1 r minus 1 plus p 2 into 2 power r minus 1 that is equal to 3 r 2 power r. So, dividing by 2 power r minus 1 divide by 2 power r minus 1 you get 2 into p 1 r plus p 2 plus p 1 r minus p 1 plus p 2 equal to 3 r 1 2 that is 6. So, 2 p 1 r p 1 r then you have I am grouping the r terms together and the uh, p 2 terms separately p 2 minus p 1 plus p 2 is equal to 6 r. So, p 1 is equal to 2, 3 p 1 is equal to 6, so p 1 is equal to 2 and minus p 1 plus 3 p 2 is 0. So, p 1 is 3 p 2 or p 2 is p 1 by 3 equal to 2 by 3. So, making use of these values of p 1, p 2 is 2 by 3. The particular solution becomes it is p 1 r plus p 2 into 2 power r. So, 
you get 2 r plus 2 by 3 that is p 2 into 2 power r. So, but the particular solution takes this form. <coughs> now, what happens when you have something like beta power r where this is a characteristic root. Look at this equation a r minus 2 a r minus 1 is equal to 3 into 2 power r. Here you have 2 power r, but 2 is also a characteristic root. In this case, how do you go about considering the particular solution? So, the characteristic root is 2 because of this and then you are having 2 power r. In that case, you have to take the particular solution as p r 2 power r. 2 is a characteristic root and you have to take it as p r 2 power r. So, the equation is a r minus 2 a r minus 1 2 a r 2 a r minus 1 is equal to 3 into 2 power r. So, use this here p r 2 r minus 2 into r minus 1 2 power r minus 1 equal to 3 into 2 power r 2 p in r minus 1. So, divide by r min divide by 2 power r minus 1 that will give you 2 p r minus 2 p into r minus 1 to 3 into 2 2 p r minus 2 p r plus 2 p equal to 6 right. So, p will be 3. So, the particular solution a r p will be 3 r 2 power r 3 r So, this is how you get the particular solution. Let us consider some more examples. Now, consider the difference equation a r minus 4 a r minus 1 plus 4 a r minus 2 is equal to r plus 1 into 2 power r. Now, you are having a polynomial on the right hand side followed by 2 power r the 2 is also a characteristic root not only that the 2, two is also a multiple root of multiplicity 2, because you see that if you, this is the characteristic equation for that will be alpha squared minus 4 alpha plus 4. So, alpha is equal to 2 is a double root. So, in that case how do you take the particular solution? The particular solution because you are having a polynomial of degree 1, you must take it as p 1 r plus p 2, but then the 2 power r 2 is a multiple root, it is a double root. So, you will have r and also characteristic root r squared 2 power r, you have to take it like this. Because of the polynomial you have to take it as p 1 r plus p 2 then it is a characteristic 2 is a characteristic root with multiplicity 2. So, you have to take as r squared into 2 power r and then you substitute in the equation then you will get p 1 r plus p 2 into r squared into 2 power r plus minus 4 into a minus 1. So, minus 4 into p 1 into r minus 1 plus p 2 into r minus 1 the whole square 2 power r minus 1 plus 4 times a r minus 2 that is 4 times p 1 into r minus 2 plus p 2 into r minus 2 the whole square into 2 into r minus 2 and that is equal to what is the right hand side r plus 1 into 2 power r, r plus 1 into 2 power r. 
now we expand of course you can divide by 2 power r minus 2 and in which case you will get this as 2 squared which is 4 4 and you will get dividing you will just get 1 2 here not get anything you will get a 4 here if you divide by 2 power r minus 2. Now, we expand and compare the coefficients. Here there are no terms for r cubed and r squared, but there are terms for r and constant term. Look at the constant term and look at the term for r, what will you get? What there is no r term here, but what is the r term here? It will be let us forget this and expand this minus first portion I am leaving it out because it is r squared minus 4 times p 1 r minus p 1 plus p 2 into r squared minus 2 r plus 1 into the 2 if you bring in multiply this it will be 8. Okay. So, here also because of that that r minus 2 this term will go this term will go. So, in this you have to compare the constants and the coefficient of r. What will be this? This will be plus 4 into p 1 r minus 2 p 1 plus p 2 into r squared minus 4 r plus 4 equal to r plus 1 into 4. coefficient of r will be minus 8 p 1 into 1. Then this uh, r multiplied by the constant term that is minus 8 into minus p 1 plus p 2 into minus 2 that will be another term. Then there will be uh, one more term here coefficient of r into this that is 16 p 1. Then you have another term 4 into minus 2 p 1 plus p 2 into minus 4. This should be equated to 4 because I am not going to solve the complete simultaneous uh, equations. You can go on solving this simultaneous equation and then you will get the value of we have taken the particular solution as p 1 r plus p 2. So, here p 1 will get the value 1 by 6 and p 2 will get the value 1. So, the solution is r by 6 plus 1 into r squared 2 r that r squared is occurring before this that is all right. The solution is r by 6 plus 1 into r squared into 2 power r. So, this is how we have to take the particular solution. Now, look at this equation a r equal to a r minus 1 plus 1 or a r minus a r minus 1 is equal to 7. Right hand side is a constant. So, what do you think will be the form of the particular solution? Initially, we realized that in one, one of the examples, when the right hand side was a constant, we took it to be a constant. But here, note that 1 is a characteristic root. When 1 is a characteristic root, the right hand side, even though it is a constant, you must, you must look it as 7 into 1 power r. Right? So, you have multiplicity 1 for this root. So, you should not take it as a constant p, but you should take it as p r 1 power r or just p r. So, make use of that here that is p r minus p into r minus 1 is equal to 7 that is p r minus p r will cancel 
P is equal to 7. So, the particular solution will be 7 in this case. Now, here look at this as an extension of that. The right hand side is a constant, but you have to take it as 7 into 1 power r, because 1 is a root of the characteristic, it is a characteristic root, but now it has got multiplicity 2. The characteristic equation for this will be alpha squared minus 2 alpha plus 1 and so 1 is a double root here. So, you have to take the particular solution as p r squared 1 power r r just p r squared and then go about solving that. Now, if you have a combination of all the things, look at this example a r minus 5 a r minus 1 plus 6 a r minus 2 is equal to 2 power r plus r. You have a polynomial, you have a expression of the form beta r r. What are the roots of this equation? You have to take alpha squared minus 5 alpha plus 6 is equal to 0. So, the roots are 2 and 3, 2 and 3 are the roots. So, you realize that there is a characteristic root here and that power r. So, 1 you have to take as p 1 for 2 power r you have to take it as p 1 r 2 power r. The particular solution has to be taken in the form p 1 r 2 power r. Then there is a second part which is a polynomial of degree 1 r is a polynomial of degree 1. So, for that you have to take a polynomial of degree 1 in the general form p 2 r plus p 3, which is given by this. You have to make use of this in the given equation, substitute and then try the values of, try to find the values of p 1, p 2, p 3, which are constants. So, these are some of the ways of finding the particular solutions. So, we shall take some examples to see how to find the homogeneous solution as well as the particular solution, so that we are able to find the total solution. This example which we have already considered, look at this example. This is the equation and we have seen that the particular solution is this. So, the equation is like this a r plus 5 a r minus 1 plus 6 a r minus 2 is equal to 42 times 4 power r. Okay. And to solve the homogeneous solution, we require the boundary condition. So, the what are the boundary conditions here? The boundary conditions as is given as a 2 is equal to 278 and a 3 is equal to 962, a 3 is equal to 962. These are the boundary conditions given. Now, what is the homogeneous solution? The e characteristic equation will be alpha squared plus 5 alpha plus 6 is equal to 0. So, the roots are minus 2 and minus 3. So, the homogeneous solution will be of the form a 1 minus 2 power r plus a 2 minus 3 power r. And we have seen earlier that the particular solution is given by this a r p is equal to 16 into 4 r. So, a r p is 16 times 4 power r. This is when you have the right hand side of the form beta power r, which is not a character, beta is not a characteristic root. So, the total solution will be a r t will be a 1 minus 2 power r plus a 2 minus 3 power r 
plus 16 times 4 power r and we are given the boundary condition as a2 is equal to 278 and a3 is equal to 962. So, what will be a2? a2 is a1 into minus 2 into 2 plus a2 into 9 plus 16 into 16 and that is equal to 278. So, this will be 4 a 1 plus 9 a 2 plus 256 equal to 278, which gives you 4 a 1 plus 9 a 2 is equal to 22. Now, use the value for 3 r is equal to 3 a 3 is a 1 minus 2 power 3 plus a 2 minus 3 power 3 plus 16 times 64 that is equal to 962. That is minus 8 a 1 plus 27 minus 27 a 2 plus 1024 equal to 962 bringing a 1 a 2 to the other side and bringing 962 to this side you will get 8 a 1 plus 27 a 2 is 62. Multiply this equation by 3 you will get 12 a 1 plus 27 a 2 is 66 and subtract 2 from 3 you will get 4 a 1 is equal to 4 or a 1 is equal to 1. If a 1 is equal to 1, 4 a 1 plus 9 a 2 is 22. So, 9 a a 1 is 1. So, 9 a 2 will become 18 or a 2 is 2. So, solving for a 1 and a 2 we get a 2 is equal to 2, a 1 is equal to 1. So, the total solution a r t becomes a 1 minus 2 power r that is 1 into minus 2 power r plus a 2 into minus 3 power r that is 2 into minus 3 power r then the particular solution which is 16 into 4 power r. So, this is the total solution. So, like that we can get the total solution. We have also considered another example. Let us see how we go about finding the total solution for that. If you remember, we considered the ovals in the last lecture. If two ovals intersect in two places, the number of regions divided into which it is dividing the plane is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then if you have n ovals, in what way the plane can be divided, into how many regions the plane will be divided. And we obtain the recurrence relation a r is equal to a r minus 1 plus 2 into r minus 1. This is the recurrence relation we obtained and what will be the solution for this? You can write it as a r minus a r minus 1 is equal to 2 into r minus 1. So, alpha minus 1 is equal to 0 is the characteristic equation, 1 is the root. 1 is a root. So, the solution the homogeneous solution will be of this form. The homogeneous solution will be of the form a 1 minus 1 power r I am sorry 1 power r that is just a 1 the homogeneous solution will be of this form. What will be the form of the particular solution. The particular solution should be of the following form. See 1 is a characteristic true. So, the right hand side you must look it as 2 into r minus 1 to the power of and 1 power r right. You have to take it like this. So, the 
form of the particular solution should be this is a polynomial. So, you must have p 1 r plus p 2 then you have 1 power r and 1 is a characteristic root. So, it should be of the form r 1 power r right. Now, this 1 power r is again 1. So, you have to take the particular solution as p 1 r square plus p 2 r. The equation is a r equal to a r minus 1 plus 2 into r minus 1. So, use this particular solution here and solve for p 1 and p 2. So, that will be p 1 r squared plus p 2 r minus p 1 into r minus 1 the whole squared plus p 2 into r minus 1 equal to 2 r minus 2. So, that will be p 1 r squared plus p 2 r minus p 1 into r squared minus 2 r plus 1 plus p 2 r minus p 2 equal to 2 r minus 2. That will be p 1 r squared plus p 2 r minus p 1 r squared plus 2 p 1 r minus p 1 plus p 2 r minus p 2 equal to 2 r minus 2. So, from this if you solve you will get p 1 is equal to and p 2 is equal to like this. So, p 1 will be one and p 2 will be minus 1. So, the total solution will be of this form a t will be a 1 plus p 1 r squared plus p 2 r. So, that is r squared minus r plus a 1 this is the total solution and you have a 1 is equal to 2, a 2 is equal to 4 and so on. So, from that you can solve for a 1. So, put r is equal to 1 you will get 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 plus a 1. So, a 1 will be 2. So, we get the total solution as a r is equal to r squared minus r plus 2 right. Now, let us see whether it verifies what we got in the last lecture. In the last lecture, we considered figures like this. So, that a 2 is 4 and one more oval like this, we got a 3 is equal to 8 and then drawing one more oval like this, we got a 4 is equal to 14. Let us see whether these values are correct for this equation. A r is r squared minus r plus 2. So, what will be a 2? a 2 will be 2 squared minus 2 plus 2 will be 4 which verifies our value. What will be a 3? a 3 is 3 squared minus 3 plus 2 that is 9 minus 3 plus 2 equal to 8 which is also correct. a 4 will be 4 squared minus 4 plus 2 will be 16 minus 4 plus 2 is 14. So, we say see that what we have got is the correct answer. So, the help recurrence relations really help to solve such problems. See looking at this sort of a figure, how many regions the plane will be divided into all of a sudden you cannot get this expression that easily. But by writing down the recurrences a r is equal to a r minus 1 plus 2 into r minus 1 and then solving it we are able to get an expression for a r in this manner. So, recurrence relations are really useful in many ways they help us to solve the problems in a very convenient manner. In the next lecture 
we shall see how to solve the recurrence relations by the means of generating function concept. Thank you.